This is the inside story of the rebirth of an icon, the Ford Focus RS. From the design studio to the test track and from Arizona to the Arctic, we follow the team as they strive to revive a famous name. We are not going to put out a vehicle that doesn't deserve that RS badge. And we'll follow Ford Rally and Jim Carner superstar Ken Block as he joins the RS team. Pressure is building on the RS team. Tested to the limit, some of the development engines have been failing. We run into a couple of issues. We had a couple of engines go in Valencia, uh, but also in, uh, in Germany. And so uh, we need to sort it somehow. It's just another problem that we don't need right now. Here at the Dunton Technical Center in England, Steve Ellis must solve the problems using a specialist test bed known as a dyno. We can simulate the harshest environments and conditions that you can put an engine to. The 2.3 EcoBoost is already in production on the Mustang, but at uh, around 310 PS, we wanted to turn it up a few notches and uh, head for something bigger. So um, our internal target has been to get to 350 PS, and you know, we've achieved that now. The torque is also very important, and our target for that was uh, 440 Newton meters, 470 on uh, overboost. It's that you know, mid-range torque and that thump in the back that, uh, that characterizes an RS. Getting the power and the torque is actually the easy part. Making sure that the engine still passes all of the, the tests and all of the durability requirements is the real challenge. The weekends are very short uh, these days. The, day, the, the weekdays are very long. Quite a few more grey hairs, yeah, and a few sleepless nights, and there are probably a few yet to come, but uh, it's coming to go. While work on the engine continues, out on the Dunton test track, Chris Caven is tuning the launch control system. You want to be able to allow a normal customer to be able to launch the car as quickly as an expert driver. The team has an ambitious target for the 0 to 100 kilometers an hour sprint. We're aiming at a 0 to 100 time or 0 to 62 miles per hour time of uh, below 5 seconds, which I think is pretty impressive for a normal production car. It's kind of getting into supercar territory. So the process with launch control is obviously start the engine, select launch control from the menu system, foot on the clutch, and then foot wide open on the accelerator pedal, and that will hold us at a predefined RPM. Then lift the clutch and off you go. Launch control works in harmony with the car's all-wheel drive system which distributes the engine's pull front to rear. So a normal conventional all-wheel drive would have a 50-50 split or 40-60 split. In the RS, you can change that torque, so you have numerous different splits depend on what you're trying to achieve. When the team's work is done here in Dunton, the car will be officially tested and the final performance figures released to the world. While development work continues in England, over 300 miles away at the Ford plant in Saarlouis, Germany, the team are building the next generation of prototypes and preparing the production line for the arrival of the RS. We're here in Saarlouis assembly plant in Germany, which is a plant with about 6,500 people. Um, we're building approximately 370,000 units a year. The plant will build the RS for the world. Asia Pacific, North America, South Africa, Europe, all markets, all originated from Saarlouis. For the workforce, it's a key moment. They're building 53 verification prototypes, the cars that must be signed off for production. Each will be built on the production line as a Focus ST, minus the engine. Today, they're building a black and a white RS with dummy ST parts, so as not to confuse the robots. The models are then pushed off the production line to the pilot plant, where the engine, suspension, and all-wheel drive system are added. One of the prototypes has been finished in the official launch color, 
and is due to be shipped to the US for the car's American debut at the New York Auto Show. You wouldn't really tell whether it's a production car or a prototype. So we're more than happy with what we've produced. Like every other Focus leaving Zar Louis, the RS prototypes will now be sent around the world as the development reaches a critical moment. Next time, the team returns to Lommel, Belgium for the all-important sign-off drive with Ford product development chief Raj Nair. Right there is perfect. That is awesome. Is that it? That's it. Wow, that is horrible. Yes. After two and a half years of hard work, is the RS ready for production?